Refer to the most current installation instructions on installpella.com for the tools, materials, and specific steps needed to install your Pella product. Always use appropriate personal protective equipment. Score the paint or varnish where the interior stops meet the frame. Remove the interior stops by prying them out with a sharp pry bar, wood chisel, or putty knife. The interior stops may be reused after the new window is installed. Cut the balance cords attached to the lower sash. Allow the weights to fall to the bottom of the weight pocket. Remove the lower sash and dispose of it properly. Repeat the same steps for the parting stops and upper sash. Do not remove the exterior stop. Remove the balance cord pulleys. Some old frames have an access panel that allows the weights to be removed and the weight pocket to be insulated. Inspect the existing window frame. Repair or replace any deteriorated parts. Clean the opening, including the surrounding wall to ensure it is dry and free of any dirt, oil, or debris. Check the opening for plumb and level. Confirm that the window opening is a half to three quarters of an inch larger than the new window in width and height. A head expander is available for vinyl windows to increase the new window frame height by three-eighths of an inch. Cut one piece of flashing tape equal to the opening width. Apply the tape across the sill, extending it up the front side of the stool. Press the tape down firmly. Place and level shims on the sill a half inch from each side, as well as under any mullions. Refer to the installation instruction for additional shimming requirements. Attach the shims with roofing nails or flashing tape. Test fit the window into the opening. Insert it from the interior against the exterior stops. Measure the distance from the bottom of the window to the existing sill at the exterior. Remove the window. Trim the sill adapter based on the distance measured and apply it to the window sill. A head expander may also be installed at this time if applicable. Refer to the installation instructions for additional information on preparing the sill adapter. Drill pilot holes into the new window frame if they are not factory pre-drilled. Refer to the installation instructions. Apply a continuous 3 8 inch tall bead of sealant to the interior surface of the exterior stop at the top and sides. Continue the sealant from the bottom of the exterior stop to the exterior surface of the stool, along the stool and back to the bottom of the exterior stop on the other side. Center the window in the opening on the sill shims. Check to make sure that the window rests against the exterior stop and makes contact with the sealant. Place shims and adjust the jam jacks, if present, according to the installation instructions to make the window plumb and square and to keep the sash to frame gap, or reveal, consistent. Drive screws at each pre-drilled hole. Refer to the installation instructions. Check for smooth operation. Refer to the installation instructions and make any necessary adjustments. Use a low-pressure polyurethane window and door insulating foam sealant to create an interior seal. Read the directions on the can before use. Insert the nozzle or straw one inch into the space between the window and the wall. Place a one inch deep bead of foam to allow for expansion.
New interior stops can now be installed or the old interior stops can be reused. Apply Pella window and door installation sealant where the new window frame and the exterior stop meet. Shape, tool, and clean any excess sealant. Continue the sealant across the bottom of the sill adapter, leaving openings for water to drain. Refer to the installation instructions.